Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial Experiments Lane episode number 2. Alright, the previous episode. It was the first episode and it really made me interested in the show. And I have to say like I love the weird atmosphere that is, you know, that the show is showing us and it has a little mystery vibe as at the same time. A lot of things are happening which we don't know why is happening like you know like weird stuff were happening there's this girl who died but now she says that she's actually conversing with uh lane and her name was chisa wasn't it yeah and she says stuff like god is here like you know like i have only like you know given up my uh you know outer body i'm still like you know hovering around and all, all like you know in, in in this world and there's this whole weird stuff happening where they like you know the back in the blackboard the letters kind of changed and it was written come to the wired and uh laying being kind of a little bit um, you know like don't doesn't know anything about the technology so and that's why I, i'm guessing that's why he went uh, she went to her dad and asked him what like you know uh more about this whole thing the technology technology and all and she, like stuff are happening like you know like then there's these weird patches red patches blue patches outside in the world weird buzzing so sound from <laughs> from the like you know the telephone lines i'm guessing or something like that those like electric lines that were going up uh, when, whenever we're seeing those things uh, there's this weird buzzing noise that was happening and a lot of things you know like uh him like you know her kind of hallucinating uh like seeing weird stuff like suddenly like you know in, in, like coming in front of a railway track where someone jumps in front of the railway the person who jumps in front of the railway has a weird face and yeah it's it's very confusing <laughs> but it's interesting at the same time and i really want to know what's going on actually and what is happening in in this like you know in this anime so yeah like uh like you know it really made me interested and i'm quite looking forward to the future episodes so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number two of serial experiments lane so i'll be putting the subtitles and timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Well, I don't like what is this actually present day present time weird laughing voice <laughs> oh my god this song is so great like oh so amazing Oh my gosh, such an amazing song. <laughs> She's like, oh well, <laughs> the time is frozen, I don't care. <laughs> oh god. One thing I'm also quite impressed is Lane really doesn't care about a lot of things. Like, she's f so normal like, with even these weird stuff that are happening. Ooh. 
Wait, wait, didn't this? Oh my god, this, this version really... <laughs> okay, Siberia. I didn't come here because I want to. What the? Ten thousand yen. What a rip off. Four thousand yen. Oh, are they drilling in drugs or something? I think so. We call it Excella. Oh, like, it's not exactly a drug. Wait, really? What the? What is this? Some kind of weird seed. Oh. Oh, nasty. What the? Oh my god, how can you put something like that in your mouth? Like, it looks like some weird bug. It says that he's not a, it's not a drug, but I feel like it really is. I feel accelerated. Yeah, oh, that's why Excella. Okay. Oh. Oh, it kind of, everything's kind of becomes in slow motion. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's happening? Hurry up, come to... And here we go again. The weird buzzing noise. Oh, it's driving fast. What the? Who is this? Oh, the sister. Uh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god this scene so weird like you know like it's like everything's white and then there's this weird patchy shadows the weird buzzing noise okay wait stop what the who is this What is he even doing? Is he like, is that his way of hiding? Oh, okay, whoa. Ah. His eyes are like upside down or something. I don't know, like weird eyes.
people are crazy in this world like the dad even the dad was like laughing in the previous episode weirdly now this guy what um What the? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, he, she did not say that it came to her. What? Some kind of rumors going around? Oh, oh, that girl that we saw. Oh, are they talking about her? Okay. Is that some kind of an? I'm guessing that was some kind of a nightclub or something. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, he was talking with Chisa, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not Lane. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Smart supplement. Specific hormone. Okay. Oh, twelve times. Oh, okay. Yeah, is there any side effects or something? Must be, like, you, usually these kind of things have something like that. Okay, I... He's very like she's very like bent up on taking her to Siberia. Okay, she. Everyone is connected. Ugh. Wow, I'm creepy. What the hell? What is... Oh! 
Um, what the? The same girl in the railway station. Hot. <laughs> you know, I was saying previously that Lane does not like you know get scared or like you know is not even bothered by these stuff. Well, uh, I think I was wrong. You know, we can see that she's pretty scared here. Ambulance? Is this an ambulance? No. What is this? Oh no, it's a del okay. I thought it was an ambulance. Hmm. Wonder what these are. But mm. now, if, okay, that the thing that she, she was wanting it told her dad. Okay, okay. Some high spec computer stuff, okay. Yeah, his dad, her dad. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she asked her dad, like in the previous episode, that about the Navi, so. The music is kind of moving around. Oh my god. Feels as if it's like surrounding your head. Okay, well, what is happening here? Yeah. Uh, that was weird. It's for her, I'm guessing. Now? <laughs> what? Ah. <sighs> What is happening? Her dad is very like you know interested in these type of things, so that's why she's so excited. Copeland OS Enterprise. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this wireless actually is. A wired actually is. Oh, it's like an AI. All right. <laughs> yeah. Lane. People are weird in this anime. Alice. Wait, she refused, didn't she? 
Why is it still bothering her? Screen saver. Why won't you come? Oh my god, what is this? Weird noise. Oh, is she using the knife? Oh no, no, no. Oh my god, this is not a good idea, like... Ooh, little kids are coming here, what the hell is happening? What the hell? Like... Where are they? No, thank you. I'm Oh boy. Peer pressure. Oh no, this guy. Hmm. Oh no! Whoa! Oh wow, great! Out of all days, today is the day that... Wait, what? Oh no, what? Who got shot? Oh my god, killed two person. Is it the same guy? Who we saw in the beginning? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <clears throat> oh no. What what happened to her? Oh, did she like, freeze after watching seeing the blood or something? Oh my god, the the spotlight. Scattered gods. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, what? Oh no! Oh my god, everything's frozen. Or maybe not. <laughs> well, another weird episode, I guess.
I love the fact that they are like, you know, showing so many things but not giving an explanation. And like, you know, stuff that are happening are not so confusing. Like, everything's very straightforward. Everything that's happening here is so straightforward. But it's weird and has no connection with whatever is happening. <laughs> oh god. Like, a lot of things kind of... Like, you know, I'm thinking about... The first thing that I'm thinking about is... Like... Lane's behavior, like, sometimes we can see, like, Lane is very, what can I say, not, like, you know, very casual, not perturbed by anything, she, she's just doing stuff, weird stuff are happening beside her and she doesn't even care, you know, she doesn't even flinch, and then suddenly, in the middle of the show, like, you know, episode, we see her actually freaking out, when the person in the classroom comes out a weird weird person and the weird ghosts coming out and you know she was very freaked out at that moment and then again in the end it seems as if she was kind of possessed by someone where she suddenly freezes and then goes forward and says that everyone is connected like you know her eyes was kind of different and he was she was kind of acting weirdly like this is one big mystery that is happening like who knows maybe she really is actually being like, influenced by something okay that's the end like you know some kind of i don't know some kind of weird st stuff is influencing her and she's actually getting possessed by something or like you know like uh, some kind of stuff is happening like that but yeah like but it's weird <laughs> and okay so one thing we got to know here uh you know one new thing we got to know over here is the whole drug thing and the excella that was called yeah the excella so i'm guessing uh the weird seed was i don't know some kind of storage container which after like cutting it the actual drug comes out the excella and it's not an like you know it has like nano machines they kind of explained it it has nano machines which actually goes into you and interferes with your hormones and stuff and accelerates your like you know the way you actually see the world uh and by accelerating your own like you know, you know like stuff that's happening your internal metabolisms your like awareness your senses by accelerating it it actually feels as if the outside world is decelerating and you see everything in very slow motion and like you know like start getting what do you call it like you know like start freaking out you start uh, panting like you know like what actually happens is like if your inner like things like for example inner senses inner metabolism everything if it like starts going quicker that also means your heart rate increases like everything increases and you become like you know you become agitated you, you become in like you get into a very excited state and that is surely somehow harmful to you because it's not that the outside world is decelerating it's actually you are accelerating so the the time is normal like you know like every the time is like going on normally but you are getting accelerated so like your heart rate increases like uh, who knows like you might get a heart attack suddenly like if it like accelerates too much you might die so like you know like something like that and i don't know why he that guy was actually taking that drug he said something like it's not a drug but like obviously like that is a drug in a way because it actually makes you like you know like uh long for it I'm guessing he actually got some kind of a kick by using it like you know like the, the weird sensation kind of gave him a kick or something and he gets uh like you know addicted to it the weird sensation of accelerating like that was like uh what do you call it mm, thing that he actually longed for like after like having it one or two times he started like you know longing for it even more and like that's the definition of a like you know like a drug so like anyways but he wanted that sensation and yeah and then like after he gets accelerated one thing that i actually did not notice in the beginning is that 
like the the girls that the girls were saying that lane was there and there is this girl who actually pushed someone into the ground and he was actually seeing her in that accelerated state and that girl let me just look at her first no he she really does not look like lane how why the hell did they the friends say that that looks like lane she nowhere even looks like lane because especially her expression yeah that's not lane it's definitely someone else But her, like, you know, I'm guessing, like, from her hairstyle and her, like, face structure or something, they kind of thought that it was lame. But, like, it's very obvious here that, like, the way she dresses, the way she's, like, you know, her expression is, it's not lame. Now, I'm kind of saying this here because, like, you know, I'm kind of uh, stressing the fact here that this is not lame. is because anything can happen in this anime as far as I could understand. So, who knows, in the future we might, like... You know somehow actually realize that oh maybe this actually is lame like so that's why i'm like telling uh, like you know i'm like you know i'm telling this here now i don't think this is lame but i might be wrong here because as i said like in this anime anything can happen <laughs> as far as i could understand so maybe in the future we'll get to see that actually it was lame and she somehow came here you know like some kind of split personality or something going on <laughs> <laughs> who knows and she you know her actual like you know herself she actually does not like yeah that can happen you know like the, like the split personality that i'm talking about like who knows maybe in the end like the thing that we see where she actually starts speaking weirdly and says that we're all connected and like just goes in front of the guy and the guy actually shoots himself like maybe that was something that her split personality did or something i don't know like there are a lot of like you know way you can interpret this <laughs> but uh, I'll wait for the actual answer to reveal itself and okay mm. and then there's this weird like section that's actually happening the, the weird section with the rainbow like you know rainbow color and like you know the, uh, like actually some dialogues are appearing for example like one of, in one of those like you know dialogue is written like hurry up come to me yeah like like everything is happening then suddenly then this weird section when this is rainbow colored screen and then there's some kind of dialogue that is happening i still don't know what that actually is uh they who knows maybe we'll get to know as time goes on but yeah and okay another weird thing in this episode is the sister the sister was kind of looking like you know like kind of like keeping an eye on lane and when he, she was in her room uh lane's room she comes and said like oh you don't have your imaginary friend all that he, like you know she was kind of saying something stuff like that and then later on when the dad brings her the new navi she's also spying on them and like the dad actually like you know the dad i think the dad opens the door just a sec um yeah okay her name is mika opens the door and oh wait a minute oh i realized something maybe it was his her sister who went to the club they look kind of the same yeah it can be you know maybe it really is her sister the, the actually the person they actually mistook for lane I'm not sure, but that that is another possibility. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, like they were uh, like you know, like the, the dad comes out and says, uh, "Hey, Mika, was something wrong?" She's like, like you know, staring weirdly at Lane, and then like she goes back. <laughs> as I said, like every character is weird in their own way. The dad uh, also, like you know, in the previous episode, the dad was kind of like you know getting excited ha 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 like laughing in a weird way and getting excited after like she he gets to know that lane has this interest in like you know the navi and uh like the mom as well is weird in a way because like this episode like they were like you know the mom and the dad were kissing and when lane comes in the mom like like looks at her and she's all like like okay like clean this stuff and goes back like what <laughs> that's not how someone reacts to when your daughter actually like you know ex like you know like walks up into a situation like that that's not how you react 
I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, like every character is somehow weird. Lane is also kind of weird in a way. Like, you know, as I said, like, she, like, she has this kind of a, like a weird, what can I say? Like, uh, what can I say? Like, a, a, kind of like a split personality where she is really not bothered by anything and then she gets scared sometimes and then she again starts acting weird. But... Oh, then another character, another weird character who was kind of like, you know, behind the lamppost. You know, she was kind of, he was kind of looking at Lane in a really weird way. And I don't know who that was and what what the deal with him was, but... Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, and then the friends, like, you know, they like Lane is talking with her friends. And obviously I can like understand one thing that, like... Uh, these I, I thought these girls were probably in the beginning I thought these girls were probably like those type of characters who would kind of like you know uh, make fun of her or bully her in a way but I, as far as I could see they're not technically not like that but they have this kind of a, um, a weird uh, vibe going on as to like you know they like act as if like yeah I'm better than you that type of friends like they're obviously not that type of toxic people who actually bullies you or harms you I don't think they're like that, but they has this kind of thing going on, especially uh, the girl. Um, I, I don't know the, her name, but the girl with, like, you know, long hair, like long black hair, that girl, like, you know, she kind of acts like that. But the other girl, um, the girl who was actually helping out Lane in like certain situations, okay yeah the girl with short hair you know like i think like she is okay she really actually cares about her and she's not like the other girls and she actually like you know uh, like obviously we in the end we see her actually going in that situation and trying to help like like no one would do that like you know especially in that type of a situation where the gun is pointed at her so she actually goes there and tries to help like so i think she's she's like one of the like you know like understandable person who actually understands tries to understand lane and actually sympathizes her with her in a few ways and is like you know a, a good friend so yeah mm, what else let's see oh and then then the weird section where there's this weird person in the classroom who kind of floats around comes in front of lane and the face is weird again that the the, the the ghost type of entity that we saw you know that we also saw in the first episode who uh, jumped in front of the train and that's another weird <laughs> stuff that happened and okay and then the navi like talking about the navi i'm guessing the navi is like a personal computer but at the same time it's more like you know like has a, like an artificial intelligence or something like that and it's more like uh like it's not like a computer it's more personalized as like you know as the dad was kind of saying that oh i thought i would like you know i it would like you know this is like one of the latest stuff so i would have loved if i like you know if i could give this a go but it's for you so like it's not like a computer where like you know like many people can use it it's not like that it's like and also that it also kind of gets proved in later on where Lane actually goes and his, her dad says that okay talk to him and uh, the computer the Navi will actually register you as the user and when she talks to the Navi the Navi kind of like you know like registers her as a user the name comes up and the Navi starts talking to her so it's more like a personalized computer you know like it's only for her something like that most probably that's that's most probably what a Navi is like it's not a computer but it's something like that more like you know more for personal use so yeah and and the, the guy who actually brought the navy we're talking about a few things which i kind of are interested in where she he actually says that you can like you know you can go into the wired and what did he say just a sec okay um okay here it is you can move around in the wide without any stress at all so i'm guessing the, the wide is like a like virtual reality or something like he says something you can move around without <gasps> excuse me any stress so 
I'm guessing it's something like that. Like we still have not gotten inside the wi wired. Like they're all always talking about the wired, but I don't think like we still have gotten in, in the wired. I'm I'm guessing we're going to get into the wired in the future episodes. But yeah, like it, it seems as if the way they were like talking about the wired, it seems as if it's like some kind of a virtual reality where you actually move around and like you know do stuff or something. I thought it was more like a social messaging app or something in the previous episode. Uh, most probably it's not something like that it's something more sophisticated and more like you know modern so yeah oh another weird portion where like you know where the dad actually tells uh lane that okay like let me like you know eat and like you know let me just kind of settle down and then we're going to set this up the navi up and then uh, lane suddenly says no you have to do it now like I was like, what's happening? You know what? I, I'm kind of thinking now, like the thing that I thought in the beginning, maybe she does have a split personality. I'm talking about Lane because at that moment, she it seemed as if like, she, like it was some completely different person. And you know what I think? I think this started after she kind of like interacted with Chisa's ghost. And I'm guessing like that is somehow influencing her and she is kind of like, you know, like becoming Chisa for a moment, uh, momentarily. And yeah, that might be it because in the end, especially in the end, when she says that everyone is connected, I think that's something that probably Chisa would say. Like, you know, in the previous episode, the way Chisa was talking with Lane and interacting with her, saying stuff like, oh, like I've only given up my physical body, God is here, all that stuff. So yeah, like, like I don't know, maybe like, you know, like, like maybe this is some kind of, uh, like, you know, mental this what can i say like mental problem that she's going through like she's actually thinking of herself as jisa for moment like you know for moment uh like one or two moments and it's like a split personality kind of like a split personality that's happening uh who knows maybe it is really something like that but yeah we still can't say anything now i'm like and i'll wait for a few more episodes to actually like you know make uh any assumptions and uh okay and after that they go to the cyber siberia i think that was called something like that and again like we can see like little kids are going in there like what the hell is that like you know like little kids they're like oh like uh move like you're blocking our way and they, then then they're getting in like those kids were even uh like you know younger than uh, lane and her friends like what <laughs> anyways and they get in and they have a little conversation this guy starts to go crazy and she says something like he says something like i don't want the wired to actually interfere with the, this world and um okay like i think my like you know the thing that i actually said uh, i think i'm becoming more sure of the fact that something like that must be happening you know like this guy says that the wired is actually interfering with the actual world so i'm thinking most probably chisa the girl who said that she is like you know like she, she has given up the, her body a uh, physical body she's somehow like you know moving in the wired and uh like you know suddenly her like you know uh, lane kind of acting weird in this couple of uh like you know, in this episode where she actually completely becomes a different character so maybe that was what that guy was actually trying to say like you know like uh the wired interfering with the real world that is chisa you know a person who is in the wired actually trying to interfere in the real world through um a lane and sometimes she's actually possessing her and maybe that's why like you know suddenly like you know lane said that no dad you have to do it now maybe that was uh, chisa that was actually uh, like you know talking and because he she wanted to hasten the process he wanted the navi to be set up quickly for her to actually communicate or something like that uh, that might be it like you know like uh who knows like a few things are kind of hinting towards that uh, as i said i'll keep uh, like you know I, i'll try to uh, make more assumptions in the future but not now because i think something is happening to lane like you know like some kind of split personality or something because otherwise that like you know the last scene is not like you know the, it, it kind of explains the last scene if she really has some kind of split personality and chisa is actually the one who is controlling her for a few moments because in the end she, she completely got, got frozen and suddenly comes out and says that everyone is connected and the guy freaks out and kills himself so 
yeah so yeah that was it guys so that was it uh so that was my reaction to episode number two of serial experiments lane so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of serial experiments lane so until then goodbye and have a nice day